I'm just stopping here at the Lower Narrows. Uh, kind of in the middle of a long road walk. I had a portage and it's hot one. <laughs> and uh, like most road walks, there's really no place to stop and sit. It was like a historical marker a ways back, but that was no shade. So this is nice. Stop here for a moment, take a little rest, and then keep going on. Plan today is just get down to like Devil's Lake area. So it's worth noting that that uh, Lower Narrows natural area back in there by that bluff, probably a good stealth camp in there. If your timing puts you at the end of the day, that might be a great place just to tuck into for a sleep. Let's get in here. So Parfrey Glen. Oh yeah, we got hills again. Hills and trail and blazes. Oh my, so nice. All of these blossoms everywhere, it smells so nice in here. Just kind of a flowery fragrance to the morning. This is the Sock Point uh, segment, I believe. Just lush and green and fantastic so far. Not been any real views though on account of all the foliage on the trees. It's the first, actually no, this is the second, second bench. Here's a funny sign, four bridges ahead. <laughs> I'm now in the, uh, crossed into the Devil's Lake segment. One of the things it's famous for is the rocks and the cliffs. The other thing it's kind of famous for is the uh, abundance of those benches. Uh, seen a bunch of them every time I've been in here. Like popcorn. All the little grasshoppers. <laughs> so it just dawned on me. All the times that I've been to this park in the last several years, it's always been in the winter. Usually once every winter, I'll come up here camping. And i uh, never really been in this park in the summertime since a, a long time back. I'm going to go down, check out the, the lake. I think there's some concessions. And since they won't let you stealth camp in the park, I got a site. I'm going to stay here and uh, just explore around. I'm going to grab an ice cream, I think, then head up, see what my site looks like. Good morning, everybody. I feel like a ghost walking through here in the morning. Everybody's sleeping. Like 500 sites or something full of sleeping people. Come down here in the middle of the day. Oh, it's just a hustle and a bustle. You watch people here for hours if you wanted to. But in the morning, I like it. I like it like this. Some stairs will warm you up. That's for sure.
for the big view. <laughs> There's somebody in a little kayak or canoe kind of right in the middle of the screen down there through the fog from this view up here. But otherwise, just not much. Not much. Pretty healthy drop, though. Not much for view, but get what you get. Still beautiful. So I was reading that sign, and essentially, like, there was an ancient river that tore through here, carved uh, this channel kind of through this hard rock, this quartzite. And uh, then like 18,000 years ago, the glaciers came and it dammed it up on either end. And uh, river changed and so now we just have this big old gorge. It's pretty cool, but can't really tell much from up here. I do see a little blackbird down there. Take a peek. Good morning, little blackbird. <laughs> All right. Gonna hop back over there and keep on hiking, I guess. Sort of on the descent now. A fine beach here on the south end too. All right, got another climb ahead <laughs> up to Balance Rock. Got a nice view of the lake. It's a pretty vigorous climb, I like it. A lot of hikers, they don't film on the way up because it's hard to breathe and talk. But I do, I do. Awesome. Nice view, kind of over there is the rocks I was up on this morning. A little earlier, and uh, still going on these stairs. <laughs> there it is, balanced rock. Just wanna uh, push it over. Nah, <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. Nice spot overlooking the whole of the, the lake. See all the little people swimming down there. Just kind of past the bend in the lake, kind of L-shaped. Balance rock, baby. Woo! All right, let's keep going. Get up on top of this bluff. Woo. All right. Made it to the top. And uh, I think I follow this ridge line for a little while. All right. Coming down to the devil's doorway. There we go. There is hundred or more benches in the park. And uh, a lot of them are memorial benches. They'll have somebody's name and the, you know, from their daughters or family and some little saying. But this one, this one here is my favorite, favorite of all of them. <laughs> the Sullivans. She said yes. <laughs> October 23rd, 2008. I love it.
kind of going along the moraine, I think, that blocked off the end of, uh, of the lake. So that kind of opens up here in the middle between the two, uh, between the two bluffs. That's where I was from. And then uh, that's where I'm going. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Nice. Yep. All right, a quick explanation of uh, what is a moraine. So glaciers, they carry tons and tons, millions of tons of dirt and rocks and everything with them, They're like bulldozers. And at the kind of the, their farthest expanse, they're pushing all of this dirt. When they melt away, all of the, all the ice and everything, eventually it just drops just this huge pile of the rocks that they was carrying. So it's kind of like a, almost an outline of the farthest that the glacier reached. And uh, the most of this trail kind of moves along this moraine over the various like lobes of the glaciers. And I don't know exactly which one it was that came down here. It might've been even before the, the last ice age, but basically what I'm walking on is just a big old pile of rocks and dirt carried by this glacier that pretty much kind of just ended here. So didn't really go in there. And, uh, so when everything's said and done, I guess it's just a big old pile. Of, and this is where you get lots of, oh, there's kettles and everything else that are all in there. But the moraine is kind of the general term for that big old pile of dirt that shows the farthest the glacier went. I guess simply put, it's a lot of dirt. <laughs> Those glaciers, man, you know, they're just like big flatteners in a way because they just grind down everything that sticks up. They fill in everything that's low, but yet they leave everything kind of lumpy <laughs> from what I've seen over hundreds of miles of this trail. Nothing's really flat. It's always lumpy. Kettles and eskers and ups and downs. But all in all, pretty flat. Fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, man. And so ends the trail for a little bit. Got about a mile and a half down the road. Gets me to the town of Merrimack while I pick up the ferry. And uh, finished up with the trail. Devil's Lake. Man, that was delicious delicious there were so many people so many cool rocks that was a fantastic segment and the merrimack one with the prairie and the savannah that was awful nice too but what a good time <laughs>